Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're ready to try a few exercises. So here is our first exercise. We're given that the probability of the event A occurring is 0.3, the probability of event B occurring is 0.4, and A and B are independent events. They do not tell us if they're mutually exclusive or not mutually exclusive. They want us to find P, A, and B. Now, if they are independent events, we can then say that this must be equal to the product of P, A times P, B. And I don't know why I wrote a small a there, but let me go ahead and change that to a large a. There we go. So, it's simply the product of the probability of event A occurring times the probability of event B occurring. So in this case, this is equal to 0 0.3 multiplied times 0 0.4, which is equal to 0 0.12. All right, now the probability that event A will occur, given that B has already occurred. Well, since they are independent events, the outcome of A does not affect the outcome of B, nor does the outcome of B affect the outcome of A, so therefore this must be equal to the probability of A, which is therefore equal to 0 0.3. Same over here, B will not be affected by A, so therefore this must be equal to the probability of B, which is equal to 0 0.4. And finally, the probability of A or B, that will be equal to the probability of A, plus the probability of B, minus the probability where they overlap, which is A and B. So in this case, that is probability of A, which is 0 0.3, plus the probability of B, which is 0 0.4, minus the probability of A and B, which is 0 0.12. We go. That's 0.7 minus 0.12, so this would be 0 0.58, which is the probability of A or B. And that is how it's done.